Hi, so in this video, we're going to see how we can enable and play with this global illumination in real time. There's been quite a lot of talk about VXGI, and I thought it'd be useful for you to know that we have this already in Unreal Engine, and it works pretty well. It's in development, so it's not for production purposes, but as you can see, when I change the color of my sun here to a very unrealistic red my whole scene takes the color of that so the gi really does work let's jump in our blank scene and see how we can set this up before we begin though we will need to make a little change to a configuration file because the Real-time GI is not enabled by default. It's turned off. So it's there where we need to turn it on. In Unreal Engine, it is called Light Propagation Volumes. And you can see that there's a little warning here that it's not a fe it's a feature in development, not ready for production. So there's a lot of things that are not working, but it's uh, it's something that could be useful. So what we need to do is add this line of code here at the bottom of this file. So that's very easy. You need to navigate to your program files and find the Unreal Engine folder. In there you will have whichever version you're working on. Uh, I've got 4.17 here. Click on that, go to Engine, Config, and you go to your consoles variables dot ini at the bottom so you just copy this line and bring it and into this file and paste it right at the bottom here okay save and close your file and you will need to restart the engine good so we've restarted i've opened my scene setup file here and what I'm going to do is bring in a directional light so the uh, propagation volume only works with directional light. So none of the other point lights, spotlights, lights, skylights will work. They will illuminate the scene, but they will not generate any GI. So let's go back to uh, the lit mode and turn the sun so that it's shining inside the space. We're going to turn the sun to a, a movable light. And you can see that there's no GI. <laughs> Great. So we actually need to go into our details panel here and turn on dynamic indirect lighting. And magic, magically here, our indirect lighting seems to uh, turn on. Let's increase the intensity of the sun here and we've got uh, a pretty good result so you can see there's a little bit of lack of detail here on the the chair the illumination doesn't work brilliantly on there and there's a slight discrepancy here with the ceiling you see that it seems to make sense when I'm you know, shine light on it but then my floor becomes overly illuminated so we need to s change a couple of settings in this light propagation volume. In order to do that, we will access the propagation volume through the post-process volume again, this ultra-powerful post-process volume. So let's bring one in. First thing we need to do is have it turned on, enabled, and unbound. And within the... Um, Rendering features, we'll see we have a light propagation volume uh, submenu here with a, a, an even uh, advanced submenu here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with the size here. You see, by default, it's on this strange 5,312 number. And I've played around a little bit before and found that, that the value of 2,000 seems to make a lot more sense that things uh, get a little bit change a little bit more in keeping with what I'm expecting the GI to be doing um, the ceiling seems to be illuminated 
properly. The uh, it's interesting to go if we go back to the post process volume and play with this size. There is a I'm on exposure log zero by the way. So here it looks very dark. I'm turning on purpose to show you that there is if you go to this show flag here, you go to visualize and there's, there is the light propagation volume here and you're actually able to see uh, a ghostly form what we are what this light propagation volume is and what it's doing it's kind of doing a pixelization vox volume it's doing a visualization of um, our space and our size here seems to change the resolution so although 1000 uh, maybe you can see that the these pixels get smaller and smaller but then it starts to break down so I invite you to play around and maybe find the optimum uh, value for your project so there um, one more thing I thought we could just do here and this is away from the actual GI uh, light propagation volume we can just go back and play with our tone mapper a little bit maybe soften increase the lightness in our shadows uh, and so on warm up, warm up our sun and see what we can get with that and um, increase the perhaps the global illumination um, feature here which will give us a little bit more light in the back and um, put our exposure onto automatic so um, that's it for the global in for the real-time GI I hope you can do something with it it's something that will is definitely still in uh, production and um, hopefully we will hear a lot more about in the near future